Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins. Also, if you're looking for some really cheap FIFA points, go check out IGSky. Use the discount code Rossi for a massive 8% off now. 8% guys. Go check it out. If you don't want to buy anything like that, you want to buy some cheap games, some new games coming out, go check out G2A. Every link you will need is in the description box below. Enjoy the video! Hello guys, Mr. Austin1990 here in this episode number 3 of Trading Pure Profit. It's been a few days since I've done one of these episodes, so let's get back into it basically. Here are the four players we have from the last episode. I left them selling at the end. And their prices went up and down constantly. I was monitoring over a few days because I thought I'd leave the weekend for this video. I'll bring it back on Monday, but unfortunately on Sunday I badly injured my ankle and I really couldn't be bothered to do a video. I know that's a bit lazy of me, but I've, I've sprayed my ankle and it was a bitch. So uh, apologies for uploading yesterday. But um, yeah, so we sold Luala off 550 coins. If I'm not mistaken, we got him for like 300 or 350. It's so a little bit of profit, not much. This guy, though, I think we paid him off for 300 coins. 1,200 coins. Very nice profit there. Him, I think we got for 300, so over 600. And same with Gomez, it's like 300, 400, so over 650. So we made profit on every player. We're up to 2,919 coins. Remember, we start from literally nothing, or from about 700 coins with the 500 coins you get free, and then the bronze. Um, it was like a legend loan pack. He got some bronze players in there, which we mainly discarded. I think we sold like two of them for like 200 coins. So we're not doing too bad at the moment. And with the 2,900 coins, I'm probably still going to use this silver method because we still haven't got that many coins. But it gives me more chance to make more profit because I can buy more silver players. And we start buying like two or up to four. Maybe I can get like six possibly this time, depending on how things go and who I invest in. So I'm going to go buy some players now and I'll be right back. Well, I've got them, so I'll see you in two. Hey, guys, so as you can see, we are back. We've got 19 coins left over as well as quite a few silver players. One or two of them were better deals than others. I made a little bit of a boo-boo on one or two. Um, but it might... We're going to make a loss, is all I can say. We'll start with this guy, pay 300 coins from him. We compare his price, you'll see... He's a little bit more than that. Not a whole lot more than that. You could probably get about, I think, this one for 600 there. So we're not going to get masses of coins. So what we will do is this it for 500 to 550. And if he sells, I'll do it for an hour. If he doesn't sell, I'll relist him and relist him. Maybe lower the price. But obviously, you'll see the final one in the next video. But 550 coins, you know, it's a good deal for a guy who's got good pace in that league. We move over to this guy who is another pacey defender. And he's actually in the Eredivisie. That's a good league for defenders. Um, I didn't pay a lot for him. I think I paid 250 coins. And he's all over the place. So you can see his price. I think many on the market actually there may be cheaper ones up here maybe he's getting price locked or something but you can see his price here and um, 1.1k i think is the cheapest one currently so we're gonna try our hardest at this moment in time because his price may drop instantly so i'm actually only going to put him off 800 coins a lot less than what we saw on the pages there and if he sells that's awesome because we make good profit and ideally it's going to get him out quicker and just in case his price does drop eventually we've got this guy here for 350 coins it is uh dentinio he's a good player actually for shakhtar if we look at his price at the moment, again, he's not exactly a set price. One point, I think it's all 1.1k there, but you can see there's quite a few of them on the market. So what we are going to do is just going to list it for 800 to 1k. And again, that's brilliant profit if we get that. If not, then we'll have to list him for less. But he's a really good player, actually. So I'm not too sure um, how he's that cheap, because obviously a lot of people play with Shaq. Though. He's four-star skill moves, Cam. You know, he's a good player. 5'9", he's got all right pace and dribbling and shooting for a silver. The one thing I worry about when buying these silver players to trade is like the passing aspect this year is a little bit harder so I think people put off using silver teams that benefits obviously when buying silvers and trading with them so at the moment it's working okay for me could be better could be worse um, we go for this guy next another cam who looks quite decent I'm not too sure how much we paid actually how much we paid 350 if we look at his price someone looks like it's already sold which is absolutely mental he is you know 700 coins there someone already sold or have I just gone back up in coins what's happened there He's already gone. That's absolutely crazy. See, that's what I mean. We've instantly made profit on that guy. I would have bought him literally like two seconds ago. So what, Dubai, I'm 250. We've made good profit already. 800 coins back in the bank. That's ideal. That hasn't happened in the long term. That used to happen quite a lot when I used to do a series. Because obviously I, I tried to sell them quickly because I think that benefits us in the series. Instead of like, what well, I said, waiting and uh, him going down in price. That's brilliant to see him sell instantly. Um, I think I saw, I can't remember his price. We'll list him off 800 coins. If, we, if he sells, then brilliant. If he doesn't, then, you know, we, we move on. Uh, what's happened here? I can't move. 
I'll be right back. There's a little glitch there. We did end up listening for 800 coins on the show app, and there wouldn't let me move my controller. But next player is Ruben Reed. I bought him because I like him. I don't think he sells for mega coins. We're probably not going to make mega coins on him at all, actually. 600 coins there. We paid 250. So if we make 600, actually, we're not really that bothered. Is, is he fresh? He's not fresh, which, you know, ideally I want fresh cards because they're the ones people go out and buy um, because obviously they've got seven contracts. Mine's, mine's only got three. So less, less chance of him selling. But we will, we will listen for 600 coins in real life at the moment. He's doing quite well. And in real life, stuff benefits the market. Always be checking for that. We've got this guy here. 300 coins paid for him. I don't think he's a good deal at all. Um, you see by the first page, it's not too bad. But going it further on, I think he gets cheaper and cheaper. So we're only going to list him up for... Uh, we'll do 600 coins. And if he sells, we've doubled our money. Well, nearly with, with obviously the tax. We've got this guy here. 350 coins paid for him. Again, the first page you'll see there is up to three minutes. So... It looks like he's getting priced like that, yeah, 2.5k. I'm not too sure. I don't want to spend too much time looking on the market at him. So what I will do is I'll just list him for a K first time. You never know. It might get mixed up with the price and they think, shit, 2,500 for all his cards. You may get lucky. And obviously I can lower the price. It's not a big deal. We'll list him and see what happens. So we've got this guy here for 250 coins. Can't really go wrong when you pay 250 coins. Obviously there is a guy there for 650. But apart from that, the prices are quite high on him. He's always like a K-ish. So 650, that guy paid. We're going to list him up for 600. And if he sells, brilliant. He's Another good defender in that league we did. I think we did one last episode with him. We've got this guy here. This is the boo-boo. Actually, there's this guy and the next guy. Because when I bought him, the price were all over the place. And then that one came on the market for 300 coins. I was tempted to buy that, actually. Which I might do now. I've got some coins back. I did run out of coins. But as you can see, he's not an expensive player. But with that one only being the only one at 300 coins, I am going to only list him for 400 coins. If we do sell him... It's all right. If not, you know, we've only got him for 250, so he pretty much discards for about that anyway. It's not a big deal in the long run. This guy, I bought thinking, you know what? 250 coins for him is brilliant. He's a Leon player. He plays in Liga, and obviously French. He gets ultimate chemistry with some good players. He doesn't sell for nothing. I was very, very... You know, shocked to see that. We've only paid 250, so we're not going to make a loss. We'll listen for 600, and if he sells, he sells. If he doesn't, then again, we can just listen for lower. It's not a big deal at the end of the day. And that is actually all of them. So we've instantly got 779 coins back. So that's brilliant. I'm actually buzzing about that because, like, it's always nice when you get instant profit on a player. Normally, they can take up to a day to sell. So that's why these videos aren't every single day because there's sometimes they just don't sell quick enough. That's why I try and listen for low prices. But we'll recap what we've got. So we've got 550 coins potentially there, maybe 1,000 if we're lucky there, 800, 600. We're looking at some really good profit this episode if we can manage to sell these players in a realistic time. The longer it takes, obviously the lower our list their price just to get them sold quickly so we can move on into doing sniping and all sorts of awesome stuff. Let me know in the comment section below if you manage to pick up any good deals yourself. Are you doing the silver method? It's working wonders for me in, in, in real terms. Like I said, I haven't done trading in a couple years, a couple of FIFAs. And coming back and doing the silver map, it's a lot of fun actually, checking the price, you know, taking gambles, taking risks on players. You're never really high risk because you're only really going as high as maybe 400 coins. So if you do make, you know, a loss of 50 coins, you can easily make that back like you saw there. That was an easy profit for me right there. Probably could have got more out of him. That's the only downer about that. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hopefully these guys sell and I can make a new episode for you shortly. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you next time. And do bye-bye.